Hey guys, it's Phone Arena. We're doing our hands on look at the uh, Motorola Click 2, which will give you some of our initial impressions. And it's going to be available for T Mobile and follows similarly to the original Motorola Click just because it has that uh, landscape sliding keyboard. We're just going to give you a brief uh, hardware tour. So, quickly, some of the specs include a 1 gigahertz processor, that's a 5 megapixel autofocus camera, HSDPA 10.1 megabits per second. Uh, pretty decent specs, more of a mid range than anything else. Uh, the first thing you see, obviously, is the display. 3.7 inch capacitor touchscreen. Uh, it has the same resolution as what you find on the uh, Droid devices, the uh, 480 by 854 pixels. So it has a lot of a lot of pixels per square inch. So it has a nice uh, pixel density. And what that does is, of course, it offers pretty good clarity. Even the tiniest of text is going to be easy to uh, make out. So you're not going to have any problems in reading that. Uh, overall, the uh, construction feels somewhat, de somewhat decent. Again, it's more of a mid-range device. Uh, it sheds kind of most of the uh, plastic roots of the original Motorola Click and does have some refinements such as the uh, chrome bezel around the handset. It feels like a little bit more sturdy and less plasticky than anything else. But on the rear, it uh, has a soft touch uh, material on it but has this pattern design. Uh, and you can see that there's the uh, 5 megapixel autofocus camera with the uh, flash. Um, it's a little bit on the thicker side, obviously, but again, it has that landscape sliding keyboard. I'll show you that right here. Um, the unique thing about it is the fact that um, it has a very unique looking uh, uh, layout. It has that honeycomb pattern to it, uh, so it gives you a really good distinction. Uh, so you're not going to have any problems as far as typing out. Uh, it is kind of a little bit uh, raised from the surface, so you kind of get a really good uh, feel for the buttons. But when you press down on them, it's a little bit more on the uh, stiffer side. So, but hopefully, you know, eventually using it, will probably get a little bit better response. Uh, just you have to break it in, I suppose. Um, aside from that, on the left-hand side, uh, the only thing you have is just a micro USB port for charging. Passive touch buttons on the front. On the right-hand side, a dedicated shutter key. Yeah, probably a latch it to uh, remove the battery cover. Volume rocker, um, it's pretty decent size, you can make it out. Um, on top, you just have the uh, power button, dedicated power button. A little bit difficult to make out. It's raised slightly, three and a half millimeter headset jack. And as we said in the back, you have the five megapixel autofocus camera. It's decent, again, mid-range handset. Great thing about it, of course, the keyboard. It has some, uh, you know, nice, nice, nice specs all around, uh, especially with um, with the high resolution display. So you're not gonna have any problem using it. Uh, so if you want to read more about the Motorola Click 2, you can check out our hands-on text at phonearena.com.